and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this like dark, grungy eye makeup tutorial kind of thing. I didn't really do a tutorial, I just kind of did my makeup. Um, before we get on into the video, I do first want to apologise for another video on Sunday. I've just been so, so, so busy recently. Like, I'm currently filming this video on the day that you're watching it. So, you know, smash a huge thumbs up for commitment because I'm really really trying this year I've just literally been so busy and as soon as I've got home from work placement I've just gone straight into the filming and now obviously whilst you're watching this it is live but I will have been editing and everything so yeah it's taken a lot and it's just a lot of motivation and I've also started the gym hey new year new me or what I know don't know how long it's gonna last well it has to last at least six months because I paid for six months and I mean 22 pound a month I'm not wasting that, so, you know, gonna get myself to the gym, I've been really, really enjoying it, just, you know, going on holiday, gotta get that summer body going, and I actually wanna try this year, so yeah, all going good. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jasmine, and welcome to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe, the button is just down below, and also don't forget to turn on my channel notifications. Yeah, that is basically everything, and if you do want to see how I create this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the Nip and Fab Primer Water. Now, last time I used this, I'm pretty sure it came out more like a plop rather than a spray. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. Hey, that rhymed! Yeah, that's like a water pistol. Oh my god, you can't see that. I'm soaking. Oh my god. That is like a water pistol. I'm not gonna. Can you see that? If I. Look. Right, okay, so it sprays out normal now. Oh, get lost. Now, moving on to foundation, I'm using the Beauty Pie one. Um, this is in the shade Light 400, which is buff. I spoke about this in another tutorial, I think, well, video, uh, where I got ready for work, I'm pretty sure uh, that was the one, and I just love this, it's like so perfect for when I'm tanned, as you can see, I'm quite tanned, so yeah, I'm just gonna do it on my face, I actually forgot to bring a mirror over, that didn't even go on my face, did it? Oh, I did, I'm just gonna blend this in, using my beauty blender. So how is everyone as well? Like, let me know in the comments when, how you're doing. Because I know a lot of people like where I live have been getting really ill because there's been like a flu or something going around. I know my manager, she got really, really sick, which wasn't nice to hear. Because obviously you don't want someone that you know being really, really sick. Um, but I think she's all right now, I think she's back on her feet. Because um, I mean, she's back in the office. But yeah, how are you guys anyway? Because I mean, I'm doing okay, I suppose. I'm on work placement this week and I'm hating it. Actually, no, it's not that bad. Like, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be um, because it's actually what we have to do for our course. But yeah, it's just, it's not everyone's cup of tea, you know what I mean? Now moving on to concealer and I've got the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm, I think. I'm just applying this under my eyes. I'm also gonna apply it like on top of my eyes. I'm just gonna blend it in. I leave college in like five months, something like that, and I'm so excited to leave. You do not understand. Like literally, all I want to do is film videos. I just want to be at home, filming videos, doing what I enjoy, and not at college. And now it's literally like five months away, if obviously I pass everything. Um, but oh my god, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to be learning more, to be able to do more fun things, to be able to like potentially collab with more brands, more people, different things. And I really, really, really this year want to bring merch out. Like it's something that I'm gonna proper try and push to like bring out because I've got so many ideas and I just I just want it out because so many of you guys as well ask me all the time so I really 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 do want to bring some out this year 
so yeah hopefully that will happen I'm also off on a girls holiday this year cannot wait we're going to Malia um, that is in June and I am pure buzzing about it literally we all booked it maybe is it like two or three weeks ago now and it literally we just cannot get it off our minds like we just want to be there but we only booked it a few days ago it's literally felt like forever just gonna set my eyes using the Laura Mercier loose powder just using like a brush like this okay not using that brush I'm gonna use a brush like this Now, I don't really want to set the rest of my face with that powder, but I'm going to have to. So now, move Oh my god. I can't believe I just done that. I bought my Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel over so I could contour with it. Well, like bronze with it, but it's cream. So, oh, I was going to do it before. Do it. And this it used to be like one of my favourite products ever. Like look how like worn down it is. And I really wanted to get back into using it so I could see if I wanted to purchase a new one. But uh, guess we're not doing that today. But now I'm gonna take the Models Own Sculpt and Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. This is in Deep Tan Two. See now personally, I don't really like like red bronzers. Like I feel like this looks like stupid I don't know maybe it's just me oh yeah you get, you get that neck you've got to get that neck because otherwise it just doesn't all blend in so do that and then I'm gonna go down the side of my nose like I always do I honestly I get so many questions on this and I just don't know how it works but it just does like everyone else when they say that they use a big brush say that it just goes all over the nose for some for some reason it just doesn't do that with me um but today as well i'm gonna be using blush now i haven't used blush in bare time um so the blush i'm gonna use is the benefit coralista so i don't know how well you can tell but it is like well battered and bruised this because i used to use it all the time but i haven't used it in a while oh my god i'm actually like hitting pan Realize. So I'm just taking the Real Techniques multitask brush and just lightly blending that in because we don't want anything too overpowering. But the good thing about this blush is as well that it isn't like overpowering, which is why I've always liked this blush. So now moving on to highlight, I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star Suns. Now so now moving on to highlight, I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star. So now moving on to highlight, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost and this is the collaboration with Manny MUA, so it's the Eclipse one. Ooh, girl, you're going to need your sunglasses. So now that we have done the face, we're going to move on to the eyes. So for today, I'm going to be taking the Naked Urban Decay. So for today, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Um, I love this palette. Like it is so up my alley with the oranges and the browns, and the reds. Just me. If I was a palette, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I think I might keep it like quite simple and natural. Um, oh, I might go a bit grungy, I don't know. First shade I'm going to take is the shade Sauce, and I'm just going to apply that pretty much like all over my eye because it's going to be in my crease, but it's also going to be on my lid. So, yeah, let me zoom you in. So that is the first colour blended and now I'm going to take the shade Kai. I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Um, I'm going to take this one, I don't know what, it, what shade it is. It's like Kai. Kai. K. Kai. No, I don't know. And I'm just going to take a brush, very really similar to the one that I used before, just a little bit smaller. So like this one is the one I used before and this one is the one I'm using now. Uh, so yeah, taking that shade that I can't pronounce and just 
apply that also into the crease and then I might bring that down as well. Who knows? So that is that and now I'm going to take the shade Infuga and I'm going to further blend that down onto my lid because I think I'm going to do a dark like I look now. I don't know why, I'm just kind of feeling it. So I'm just taking this brush here which has a hair on it. Nice. So now that I've blended that shade, I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used previously, not the very first one, the second one, and I'm just going to blend into the orange and browns a little bit more. So now I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette, which is the shade Ashes, and I'm just going to apply this on my lid, and again, blend it up so that it's all seamless. This is a really cool brush to be using. No! using Bobby. Bobby. using Bobby. Oh my god, I knew this would happen. This is why I never do my eyeshadow after my foundation, because it goes wrong. So now that the eyeshadow is done, I'm gonna move on to mascara. So I'm using the Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome. And I spoke about this in another video as well, how I just really, really like it. Does anybody else's eyelashes on one side always go better than the other? Because that always happens to me and it's so annoying. So now that I have finished the eyes, we're going to move on to lipstick. So obviously because we did the eyes quite dark, I'm going to keep the lipstick quite light and neutral. So the lipstick I'm going to take is the YSL Rouge Voluptus Shine, I think that's how you say it. Once again, I'm so crap at pronouncing names, um, which just looks like this. Now, I've had this for absolute ages, and it used to be an old favourite of mine, so just thought, give it a go. I mean, if it doesn't look right, then we'll change it. But my lips are so dry recently. I don't know if anybody else gets like this, but when the cold weather, like, hits properly, my lips go so dry, and they really, really hurt. absolutely love these lipsticks they literally just like melt when they touch your skin they're so nice on so this is the finished look and i really hope you did enjoy this video if you did as always remember to give it a huge thumbs up down below let's see if we can try and get 2565 thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because i would love for you to join the family products of this video will also be linked down below in the description box so definitely check them out if you're interested in any of the products that I did use and that is basically everything so I will see you really really soon with another video. Bye!